A few episodes ago, we decided to transform my downhill bike from a racing rig into what was an attempt at making the ultimate free ride bike. What we did is removed the triple clamps and we decided to fit a set of these Fox 38 single crown forks to make the bike feel a bit more playful. Now, this bike is it's a work in progress, I think it's fair to say, but what it does free up is within this box, we've got a set of Fox 40 triple clamp forks and I want to today fit those onto my dirt jump bike and see if we can make the ultimate aggressive hardtail. The jump bike is now on the operating table and it's time to take out these 100 millimeter travel dirt jump forks and switch them for 203 millimeter beasts. Direct stem mounted bars on a jump bike, eh? There we have it, it is together. Now, I think it looks interesting. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide what you think of it. But, I think it's gonna be fun to ride. It's definitely an aggressive, it's a very aggressive hardtail in fact. And to put this to the ultimate test, we're gonna try it in a load of different disciplines. Skate park, trials lines, trails, do a few tricks. That sounds exciting. So let's get out of the workshop and go and shred this thing. We've made our way to the local pump track, which I think is going to be the perfect place to give this bike a test. The first thing I noticed when I picked it up is obviously with the triple clamps, and the 27 and a half inch downhill tire with huge tread is the weight imbalance. <laughs> Look at that. I know the front's generally heavy on a bike, but that's quite insane. So I guess to start off with, we're just gonna test what it feels like. Let's do a lap, do some jumps, see how these perform. Here we go then. The first thing I notice is the front's super high. It's easy to manual. See what it performs like on a lap then. Feels good actually, apart from that insane noise from the front tire. Woo! Actually, do you know what? It feels really nice. Little stop here across the table. Stop here across the table. It looks ridiculous, I know, but it actually rides so well this makes a lot of noise because of all the tread it's like super noisy but it feels really good i think it's perfect for manuals there's a nice long straight there let's do the manual challenge first go I don't know that it makes a difference obviously when the wheel's not on the ground, but it obviously makes a difference to the riding position. And to do a manual, you don't do anything. You just sort of tip back and it sits there nicely. That's really cool. Nice. Whoa. Okay, that was a bit harder than I expected. The big front wheel felt hard to spin and the body position was a bit strange. It's quite big to spin, I'm not going to lie. Trying to carve a 360. It's all the front wheels. The front wheels have changed, isn't it? But I'm happy with that. I don't think we're going to stay here too long because I want to go hit a trials line. I would definitely go as far to say that the pump track was a huge success. This bike actually feels amazing. But the next test is a trials line. And I've remembered this scary one. What I have to do is bunny hop the bike up here, land on this slanted log, 
and then navigate my way on the back wheel only across them three and down. But it's gonna be hard because that is really high and I haven't really done any bunny hops with these forks to know what it feels like. I think that feels all right. I'm not really gonna know until I try to go onto it, which is scary. Oh my God, that looks massive from here. I've got to lift it all the way up there. That is gonna be quite a challenge, but let's get it. That's massive. Yes. Oh, there's loads of hopping going on. Yes. Oh, there's loads of hopping going on. Yes. Woo. Oh my God. Yeah, my gearing, that was terrifying. My gearing is light for a dirt jump bike, like super spinny, but way too heavy for trials still. And you don't really want to go over the bars coming off of that. But I'm stoked. That is a long way up there. And that is a good one ticked off. Let's go find another line. One thing that I've been itching to try with these is the bump test. Obviously we've got a jump bike with triple crowns, so I think it's going to iron the bumps out perfectly and there's no better way to try that out than sending a stair set like the one behind me. We're slowly making our way from the urban environment to the trails, but before we head into the woods and shred some downhill lines, we're going to do a running man into a stoppy and test not only the grip, but the front wheel balance on this rig. ticked off urban, we've ticked off pump track, bit of trials and a stair set. It's now time to try on our local downhill trails. I think it's gonna be awesome. I mean, when you think about it, we've got a hard tail, so it's gonna be fast. We've got a mullet set up with a bigger front wheel, so rolling speed and getting over things is gonna be awesome. And we've got the smoothness of the triple crowns, but the nimbleness of a jump bike. So who knows what we're in store for. I'm gonna drop in now one of my favorite trails.
Yeah, wow. That was such a good lap. I mean, honestly, I know this bike probably looks a bit odd, but it performs so well. It does everything really good. I mean, mid run, we're doing 360s, but you can also go fast, huck things to flat. And in the corners, you've got really good front end grip because of this tractor tire. The back is a little bit more questionable. There's a few places where I was riding a bit sketchy because it's super snaky on the dry ground. But all in all, this thing is performing super well. And we have one more location to go and try. We've made it to the next spot, but unfortunately for the first time in what feels like forever, we've been interrupted with rain. And the final spot was actually the skate park. And the plan was to try and get this thing upside down. But I like taking a few risks and doing a bit of dangerous stuff, but I don't really fancy riding or flipping in a wet skate park. So we've got no option now other than to call it there, which is a shame. Although this was coming, it got super dark all day and it was just waiting for it to happen. It needed to happen. Enough about the weather, let's talk about the bike. This thing has been an absolute pleasure to ride and I think that I would actually quite like to use it somewhere else in the future. Maybe a proper bike park, who knows? Let me know what you guys thought of it because if you thought that it was really cool and interesting, then I'll definitely take it somewhere and have a shred on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave some comments below, give us a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, now nah, I ain't a